All right, so let's get started with the chair pose. All right, lower, your, lower yourself down. Okay, so feet together and knees widen. All right, so knees widen and then extend your arms out. All right, and allow your upper body to soften and maybe your neck muscle, your shoulders, and you feel up and down um, resonant fall of your belly, right? You're slowly just uh, soften or into the, the, the body, right? And even deeper to the awareness itself, right? Apart from our body and mind. And then just breathing slowly and deeply. All right, so whatever happened before the class, we let it go now. Yeah, so become the observer of your own breathing, right? Notice how fast it's going, right? By observing, observing the, the up and down, the rise and fall of your belly goes too fast. Maybe you want to intentionally slow down your breathing, right? By taking a long, deep, slow breath in through your nostrils. And then even take your time to breathe out. All right, so your forehead is on the floor. You want to gently sway your head from right to left. All right, your arms in front of you, and this is very soothing. So turn your head to the right, right? So, you know, if your mat is sticking up, and just turn your head to the left. All right, and feel the release for your neck muscle right here. Slow movement. And from here, and you want to gently come up to the top, okay? Come up to the top, and then back to a squat. All right, so you're up to a squat. And so you're standing on your toes, right? And then maybe bring your toes together. And from here, we're gonna take a, I wouldn't say chair pose, but extend your arms up. All right, so you wanna widen your knees, widen your knees. And then uh, turn your knee to the left, right? So when you turn your knee to, to the left, so you, you sway your knees to the to the left, right? You should feel the stretch of your left side, the upper back, right? And then from here, we we'll lower ourselves back to our knees again. And stay on our knees, right? Sit with your heels, bring your hands together, right? And then just squeeze your shoulder blades together and gaze toward the sky. The weather is so nice today. And then exhale, you want to lower yourself down to chair pose again, okay? So this time you want to bring your feet together, knees together, and arms next to your body, right? So you want to squeeze in your belly, lengthening your spine, but keep the hips over the heels. And trying to bring your forehead to the floor, right? So then you're just, your upper body is completely relaxed. And you're tugging yourself to this little package right here. Hands up, uh, palms facing up. All right, a couple more breaths together, and then come back to the top, and then sit on our heels, all right? It might be tense for your feet, and you feel free to tuck your toes, all right? And then bring your hands together. We're gonna just release our wrist, all right? Bring the forearms in front of you, and you're gently using your fingertips, put this hands, put the fingertips down, all right? And then you wanna sway to the side, and just release our wrist, right? We probably came from a computer, you know, and now we come back to the top, right? Spread out our fingertips, right, like star, and then 
bring the shoulder of the wrist and let's just do a couple cat and a cow, big movement, right? So when you gaze out looking forward, breathe, just breathing as much as possible, right? Then pushing the ground away, doming your upper back. And two more times like this, right? So no need to rush through any movements right now, right? One thing, one big lesson we learned from this event, we have to slow down. Not just by a little bit, right? Quite a bit. Really slow down, right? A couple more times this way. And then come back to the center, right? You want to release your, just bring, come back to the neutral state and you want to push your head to the left and you're looking to the right. All right, and then come back to the center and pushing the head to the right and you're looking to the, the left. Beautiful, and now I'll come back to the center and now you wanna lift the right knee up, right? So turn your knee up and then extend our foot out. I mean, the right foot out, you're kicking through the heel. And beautiful, and now you wanna lower this foot down, right, and you wanna come up uh, to a gate pose right here, right? Putting your foot to the right, and then walk your hands down. So I'm gonna switch this side right here, right? And walk your hands down, and you wanna turn your, um, straighten your arm to the left. Beautiful. And now you wanna lower yourself down to this side, okay? So bring the left fingertips to the floor. Now we're extending our right arm to the left and lift this leg up. And the option right here, you can keep this foot on the floor and it's completely okay. And now I'll come back to the center and then bring your hands in front of you, right? Keep this leg extended and you can tuck, the toe, tuck your toes, right? And you can sit on your left heel. Bring the heels to the left heel, right? Putting the toes up and hands in front of you. Couple more breaths, and then come back to the top and switch to the side. Okay, so you want to bring your uh, come up, come up to a gay pose on the right side, right? And extend your left arm out, uh, come up to the top, and walk your hands down, and extend your right arm to the left, and turn your head to the sky, and just continue with the breathing and walk your hands down right here, right? And extend your left arm to the left, uh, to the right, right? Maybe putting your hand to the, to the right, that's okay. And then bring your leg up to, pointing the toes and then lower yourself down and bring the hands in front of you, right? So you tuck your left toes right here, a uh, right toes and you sit on your heels walk your hands out. Now, if you're pointing the left toe to the sky, you feel a deeper stretch of your left inner thigh right here. All right, then come back to the top. So back to the top, back to tabletop. From tabletop, you wanna push yourself up to downward facing dog. All right, from downward dog and pushing the ground away, you want to extend your right leg up to the sky. And then you want to bring your foot down and extend your left foot to the sky. And lower the foot down and Gaze forward, right? Walk your feet forward, squeezing your belly. Bring your feet between your hands and return to a half forward bend right here. And then exhale, forward bend. Right, stay here. If you want to squeeze in your belly, right, for the, uh, if your hamstrings are really tight, you can micro bend your knees, right? Look at how much I tug myself to this package right here. My upper body is completely relaxed right here, right? 
And this should give you an instant release of your lower back right here. You want to see yes and no with your head. And then relax your arms and take your time slowly. Come back to the top. All right, from top, and you want to take a deep breath in and bring your hands up. And exhale, forward bend. And inhale, half lower bend. And then exhale, step back to plank. And or uh, roll yourself down. Slowly come back to the top. All right, and then exhale, downward facing dog. All right, let's do that flow one more time. Walk your feet up. Come back to half forward bend, right? And now come back to the top. Hands to the up. And exhale, forward bend. And inhale, come back to half forward bend. Right, then exhale, step back to the plank or tabletop and lower yourself down. And then come up to the top and then exhale, downward facing dog. All right, and then from here, you wanna inhale, bring your right foot up to the sky. And then exhale, you wanna step your right foot forward but lower the left knee uh, down, all right? Lower the left knee down, and we're gonna come up to lunge. Inhale, hands up. All right, so when your hands up, and extend your, uh, interlace your hands right here, and you wanna point your uh, body to the right. And then come back to the center, point your body to the left. And then come back to the, to the, uh, release your arms, bring the hands behind your back, right? Squeeze your shoulder blades together and gaze toward the sky. Press your hips forward. And then release your hands. And you want to walk your hands, walk your foot out, right? Pivot on your right foot. This is almost like a modified pigeon. So it's really great for releasing that hips, right? And Press your knee down. You want to look towards the right or to, uh, look up to the sky. And just continue with your breathing. Right now, walk your foot in and extend your, uh, your leg out, right? So your heels and toes pointing up. And then you want to turn your, walk your hands uh, to the right, okay? And just continue with your breathing. And then and you want to walk your hands in, right? And push yourself up to downward facing dog. And you now you want to bring your left leg up to the sky. Right? And you're step your left foot forward and lower the right knee down. And inhale, you want to bring your hands up, come to lunge, right, gaze toward the sky right here, and then interlace your hands, and you want to turn your body to the left, right? So this is required a little balance right here, right, turn your body to the left. And you're pressing your hips forward, right? This is a, you should feel it right here. And then bring your hands down, Right, walk here. Foot out and hands on the floor. Pivot your knee, right? Maybe hands on your left knee. You want to turn your body to the sky and just continue with the breathing. Right, so last time I feel a little different. For me, it's very tight right here. And then come back to the center. And you want to extend your left leg out. Okay, putting the toes, uh, stretch right the back of your leg. All right, from here, we're gonna just step up, okay? You wanna step up, a push up, and return to half forward bend. All right, and exhale, forward bend. And squeezing your belly, and release your lower back, your upper back is completely relaxed. And now you wanna release your hands, 
right? And then uh, just walk your, push yourself back to half forward bend. Walk your feet a little wider, right? I'm gonna turn to the camera right here. Uh, a little wider than your hips. And then just bring your right hand in front of you, right? Bend the right knee right here. Extend your left arm up to the sky. And bring the right hand behind your back. And then come back to the center and switch to the side. Extend your left arm in the front. Or extend your, bend the left knee. And extend your right arm to the sky. And bring the hands behind your back. And just continue with the breathing. And now back to the center. And slowly push yourself up to the standing. All right, then walk your feet a little closer now. All right, and take a deep breath in. Hands up. And exhale, forward bend. And inhale, push yourself up, half forward bend. Then exhale, you want to step back to the plank or tabletop. And lower yourself down. All right, you can come up to the top. Then exhale, downward facing dog. All right, from here, and you want to shift your way forward. Bring your right foot up. All right, you want to come up to a warrior one. Hands in front of your heart. All right, and inhale, bring your hands up. And reaching for the sky. And from here, you want to release your arms. Just open it. Press your hips forward. Okay, and then from here, and you want to reach your arms forward. Right, but continue to keep the front knee bent. And also, you can come up to a warrior three. Right? And really run. Strong right leg. Like, bring your arms next to your body. You're flying up. Right? So keep the front knee bent, and then now you want to lower yourself down to the floor and push yourself back to downward dog, okay? And from downward dog, you want to step your left foot forward, and then come up to where you uh, where you want. Yeah, hands in front of your heart. All right, press the hips forward, and you inhale, bring your hands up. Continue with your breathing. And then exhale, lower your arms down. Open the arms, right? Open your heart. And your next inhale, bring your arms to the front. And exhale, come up to warrior three, right? So you want to bend the left knee as much as possible, right? Lower the Left knee, arms next to your body. Just continue with the breathing. And one more breath, and then you lower the foot down, bend the front knee, push yourself back to downward dog. Right, and then you wanna bend the right knee right here, right, and bend the left knee. And from here, and let's walk your feet forward, feet forward, and then come back to the top. And just bring your hands in front of your heart, right? And we tuck in your chin, and you wanna take a mini break right here. And then you wanna lower your arms down, fingertips open, right? Shoulder, uh, shoulder blades down, and just take a mini break right here. And one more time, bring your hands behind, uh, back to your heart, right? And wherever you're standing, come on to the top of your mat and step your left foot back. So, uh, make both legs are straight. And then you want to extend your arms out, right? Extend your arms forward. And then bring your hands to a triangle pose right here, right? And, or you can bring this hand behind your back. Turn your head up and just to continue with the breathing. Relax the. And then from here, right, you want to bend the front knee here. Can, you can continue to stay here or bring the arms up to the to your uh, upper thigh and bring your or another option is bring your hands behind your back. Come to a bind. 
uh, just continue with our breathing. And one more time, and then come back to the top. All right, keep your feet um, widen, um, wide like standing right here. So now you want to just lower the shoulder blades uh, down, do some couple shoulder rolls, right? And then bring your hands in front of you, right? Fingertips facing. And let's just bend our knees first, right? And inhale, you want to bring your arms up. So pretend you're holding a beautiful energy ball, right? Right? Uh, you can imagine it's a bright yellow color, right? Just pick that beautiful energy up from the earth and just bring your hands up, up, up. And then uh, turn your body to the right and you're pushing this energy out there to the universe, to people who need it, right? And just bring your arms down and uh, hands open. And then extend your arms out. And you turn your feet to the right and bring your arms in. Right, cross your arms and then we're gonna uh, left arm on the top. I come back to the center, right? Just bring your arms up and now open it again. So feet pointing forward, right? And then back to the center again. We're going to pick up this energy ball, bend your knees, right? Maybe a little even lower. Pick up from the floor this time, right? Bring your hands up, above, right? A little higher. You're holding that beautiful bright yellow energy ball and turn your arms up, or right, turn your body to the sideways, maybe turn your feet, and then just push it out, right? All the balancing right here, lower the arms down, and then you wanna reach forward, right, cross your arms this time, maybe a switch the arms, right, right arm on the top, and just touching the opposite shoulders, right, come back to a standing right here. And then open your palms again, pushing the things away from you, right? So always spreading your fingertips. You want to feel the energy, right, uh, around your body. And now release. Uh, turn your left foot to the right, to the left. This foot pointing to the right. And you want to extend your arms out again. Right, reach forward and bring your hands down. And extend your right arm to the sky. Or you can bring this hand behind your back. And just continue with the breathing. Oh, this breeze feels so good. And then you want to bend the front knee, right? You can stay, you can continue to stay here. That's okay. All right, another option. You can bring the hands behind your leg, right? Come to a bind. And roll to the shoulder open. All right, continue to draw the hips back and breathe. And now you want to keep the front knee bent, release your hands, push yourself back to downward dog. All right, and inhale, bring your right leg up to the sky. And you want to bend this knee to the left. <laughs> and then step your right foot forward, come to the pigeon right here. All right? And keep the hands to, uh, to the knee and the foot and you want to press your hips forward, right? Lift the upper body up and heels towards the back of the mat. Right? You press your hips forward and continue with the breathing. And now you want to lower yourself to the floor. So I know, of course, you have uh, your block. So for people who have a block, you want to put the block underneath your hips, right? And then you want to grab opposite elbows, right? Try to, you know, make your upper body. Uh, relax, and then bring your forehead to your arm, just staying here. And you want to extend the left leg back, where right? draw the hips in. Couple more breaths, right? Bring the continue, keep your awareness in the hips area, right? Right hip. Just continue soften your hips with your breathing, with your breath. And now come back, bring your hands back and push yourself up to a downward dog.
right? And let's bring this uh, right leg up to the sky first, just circle the, the leg, and then bring the right foot down and extend your left leg up to the sky. And you want to squeeze in the belly, pointing the toes up, and then bend the leg to the right. And continue with the breathing. And now you want to step your left leg forward, right? Come to enter a pigeon on the left, right? Try to lower the hips to the floor, right? If the left side is tighter or felt different, that's okay, right? And surrender to our body first. And then inhale, you want to leave your uh, chest up. And just continue with the breathing. And then grab the opposite elbows where you can extend your arms out, where you relax your upper body, just lower yourself to a forward bend right here. So draw the hips in. To your heels, right? To your right heel. So continue with your breathing. And also you want to be uh, curious, right? What can you release? What can your body release in this position right here? Right, and one more breath right here, and then walk your hands in and push yourself back to downward dog. From downward dog, lower yourself to chair pose. Bring your feet together, right knees widen, and extend your arms up. Continue with the breathing, and then you want to walk your hands in, right? Come up to your toes. Again, we return to the, to the squat, right? So on your feet, right? widen your knees, extend your arms out. So continue to deepen the stretch for your, for your hips. And maybe rock yourself, you know, from right to left, right? You're on your toes. And you want to walk your hands in, right? Walk your hands in now, and hands in front of you, and uh, maybe lower your feet back to the floor, right? You're, uh, you're on your feet right now, and then hand, bend your knees, okay? Squeezing your belly, and hands on the floor, just wiggle your hips, and you want to slowly come back to the standing, right? Feet kind of wider than the, the hips, and slowly come back to the top, right? Release your hands. And it's come back to a standing right here. All right, so walk your feet a little closer and it's come to a tree pose. All right, turn your foot in, right, or you can come up to your, uh, to your toes, All right, hands in front of your heart. Uh, we just stay here. Optionally, you can grow your tree, All right, pushing the, uh, using the, this grounding leg pushes knee to the right, right? And then you want to bring your hand to the right and come to tail of the tree. All right, so your tree is a swing to the right right now. And then you want to come back to the center and keep this leg, keep this leg lifted and you lower this knee to the right and extend your arms to the left. And then come back to standing. Don't lower this foot down, right? And then come to standing twist. Hold on to your knee and extend your arms out to the right. And one more breath and release, come back to the center, right? So when we do grinding pose, uh, the, the balancing pose, you really want to engage your pelvic floor area or maybe uh, constrict your, contract your uh, hip flexor a little bit, right? So feel the, the force coming out from the grinding leg right here, right? And then come to the tree on the left, but right? pushing his hips, pushing the knee to the left, hands on your uh, hands in front of your heart. And then you want to extend your arms up, grow your tree. 
and then bring your tree to the left, right? So be gentle right here, all right? Focus and tear your body to the left. And then come back to the center, right? Hold on, hold this knee and to the, to the left, right? And so you wanna squeeze in your belly, right? Try to continue pushing the hips forward. So notice it releasing of your left hip right here. Just continue with our breathing and bring your knee to the center. Hold on to the right knee. And you want to extend your left arm to the left. And now release back to the center. And from here, lower yourself down to the, to the floor. Right, to a squat first, and then lower yourself down to a floor. Right, so you wanna hug your knees to your, to your chest, or just walk yourself from right to left. All right, from here, you wanna extend your left leg out, hug the right knee in, right, to your, uh, to your rib cage, and you want to roll yourself, right? Roll your ankles and switch your direction right here. And then from here, and you want to draw the circle with your knee. And then switch the direction, right? So you want to keep the upper thigh close to your rib cage as much as possible. Right, and then you want to bend this, uh, you know, bring the shin in front of your hips, right? Hold on to your foot, to your knee, and just gently pull this shin closer to your body, right? And stay here. And then you want to bend this left leg right here, okay? And so we transition to recline pigeon, right? So bring your hands behind your left side. You want to pull this knee closer to your body, right? Put the the upper thigh closer to your body. And then back to the center, sweet to the side, right? So extend your right leg out. You want to hug the left knee in, holding the left toes, right? And then swirl your ankle. Right? Draw the circle with your foot a couple of times, each direction. And then Draw the knees, very small circle, right? Circles with your left knee right here. So you want to bring the knee closer to your chest area, right? And switch the direction. And then you want to bend this leg right here, okay? Um, hold on to your foot, to your knee, and pull this shin closer to your body. All right, be gentle with your with your. With your with your body, you don't want to put too much, right? Just be gentle. So, like I said in the beginning of the class, you want to really uh, connect with your body now, right? And then bend the right knee, right? So bring the knee behind the left foot, and let's come to a recline pigeon right here. Hands behind your right thigh, and put the thigh closer to your body. Just continue with that breathing. And then back to the center, hug your knee to your chest and roll yourself from right to left. All right, on the floor. And so you're tucking your, keep your knees together and keep, keep your knees closer to your rib cage. And then you roll yourself from right to left. All right, and then come back to the center and hands, release your hands, move your hands behind your knees or your your thighs and just walk yourself a couple of times up to the seat. And come back to the seat and bring your feet together and walk your foot in, right? And inhale, lift the ribs away, then exhale, forward bend. 
Bring your hands, bring your forehead to the floor. So we'll continue with that breathing. So really bring your awareness to the inside of your hips, right? And just imagine just softening moment by moment, right? Breath after breath. And then you want to slowly come back to the top. And now, and now you want to keep this leg bent and extend your right leg to the to the right. All right. And so for the next pose, you want to extend your right arm down, right, towards your right foot and extend your left arm to the right foot. Right. The goal is not to grab this foot right here. And if you have a strap, you can wrap a strap right here, right, and just hold on to your strap and turn your body to the sky. And continue with the breathing, and now come back to the top, and walk. push yourself up to the top, and then come to a twist, right? So hold on to your left knee right here, and turn your body to this left side right here. All oh, this breeze feels so beautiful. And then come back to the center, right? You want to bring your right foot in, and bring your left foot out. And then sing your left arm to toward the floor, right? So trying to bring your forearms back, back your forearms to the floor, and extend your right arm to the left foot. Right, you want to turn your body to the sky, looking towards the sky right here. And continue with the breathing. And I'll come back to the center by release. And then you want to turn your hands to the left knee and turn your body to the right. So just be gentle with your body. And I'll bring this leg in. So your left leg in front of your right leg right now. And just bring your hands behind your back. We're going to do a quick shoulder release and squeeze your shoulder blades together. And you want to gaze toward the sky right here. Gaze. And then exhale, forward bend. And then you walk your hands in. And extend your legs in front of you. Right, let's move to Dadasana first, right? We find uh, the sitting position right here. Uh, you can flex your heels off, uh, flow your heels off the floor, right? That means you have to squeeze your calves. But you want to squeeze in your pelvic floor muscle, hands next to your, your body. So you are squeezing this muscle so you can bring the energy from your pelvic floor area, the root chakra, right? Travel from the back of your spine to the top of your head. When you're breathing, shoulder blades down. When you breathe down, let's bring the energy back to that root chakra. And let's do that one more time, okay? So feel the energy traveling within your body. Breathing, squeezing your pelvic floor muscle, right? Bring the energy up through your spine to your front chakra. And when you breathe out, bring that energy back to the root chakra. Even further, imagine the energy travel back to the center of the earth. All right, release now. Bring your feet back to the floor. And as you take a deep breath in, bring your hands above your head. Right, gaze toward the sky. And then exhale, forward bend. All right, bend your knees if you need to. Or hold on to the strap. And just squeeze in your belly. Right, continue releasing your lower back, your upper back. And one more breath in. Slowly come back to the top and just hug this right knee in, right? And maybe sit up a little tall, taller, 
right straighter and uh, you squeeze in the belly right by bring this knee to your to your chest and then just hug your knee in to the left right and then you bring your hand to the back come to a twist and release come back to the center and switch to the side all right hug the left knee in so squeezing your belly right see that little tall and your shoulder blades are down and then you want to hug this knee to the right right left hand behind your back up to twist so continue with your breathing and now release and extend your legs out and lower yourself down to the floor okay and then bend your knees, keep your knees bent, walk your heels a little closer to your hips, all right? Knee over the ankles, all right, we're going to stay here in this position, just hands on your heart, one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, we take a couple of breaths in this position right here, right? You want to integrate the sensation we've been uh, getting from the practice with your body, with your mind, with the spirit, all right? And then... Uh, Release your hands, right? Keep your feet where they are. Now you want to engage your quads, your inner thigh, and push your hips up, come to a bridge. Right? So squeeze your shoulder blades in. Lift the ribs away from your hips, right? Or maybe interlace your hands below your hips. Pushing your hips up, up. And now slowly lower your hips down right so you want to keep the heels as close as possible to your hips right and from that position you want to push yourself up to a bridge right and keep your feet and hips or partners come up to a bridge one more time okay and one more time lift the hips up rip rip it away from your hips Right, and now you lower yourself down to the floor and just bring your feet up to the sky. Okay, point your toes and from here, lower your hip, uh, straddle your legs, right? Pointing your toes. So maybe using your hands, you want to hands to guide your legs toward the floor. Your toes and now come back to the center. Right, feet up, continue, keep your feet up. And then from here, you can stay here or bring the hips up, bring the feet behind your back. Come to Halasana right here, right? So I'm using the wall to help me to go a little deeper with this pose. Right, feet on the floor, squeezing your belly. Couple more breaths right here, and one leg at a time, come back to shoulder step. Okay, so hands behind your hips, all right? Push the feet up, continue squeezing your lower part of your belly, or right, bend your knees, and lower yourself down. Take your time. And keep your knees bent, just bring your feet back to the floor. All right, again, bring your hands to your heart, to your, to your belly. Just take a few breaths right here. All right, now bring your feet up one more time. All right, feet up, and you want to point your, so flex your feet, so bottom of your feet pointing to the sky right now, okay? So whatever access you have, you want to bend your knees, right? Whatever your excess your hands have, that's fine. You want to pull the knees closer to your armpits. Just roll up yourself from right to left. All right, so feel it, right? You want to bring the attention, uh, the awareness to your lower back area, right to your hips. Continue to pull the knees closer to the armpits, right? And 
Bend your elbows if you need to, and now come back to the center. Bring bottom of your feet together this time. All right, and so what, again, wherever your hands are is okay, right? You want to put the, grab the ankles, put the feet closer to your body. Continue to feel the release of your lower back, your hips. And now come back to the center and just cross your knee, cross your leg, right? Right knee above the left knee. Hold on to the ankles or your knees or your shin. Just rock your song from right to left. And from here, and lower the, keep your knee, keep your leg crossed, right? Lower the feet back to the floor, both feet back to the floor. And extend your arms out, and you want to lower the knee to the left, right? Both knee to the left, and you're looking to the right. So make sure your shoulder blades are on the floor, right? No force twisting. And so your shoulder blades coming off the floor. And I'll come back to the center, cross your left leg. And on the top now. And walk yourself, grab the opposite ankles or knees. Just walk yourself from right to left. One more breath right here. Lower the feet down to the floor, right? And then lower the knee to the right, and you're looking to the left. All right, back to the center. Hug your knees in, and just lower the feet down. Right, extend your legs out and palms open and let's go to Shavasana right here. All right, and let's really uh, take advantage of this last pose right here. All right, so we've been doing things, right? Our body was moving. So now our body is still, our mind's more clear now. So let's see what, what, you know, what we feel in this pose for the next few minutes. So you want to relax your fingertips, all right? Press your shoulder blades down. Relax your toes. So you want to continue uh, with your breathing, continue rest in the soft and gentle, warm space, right? That is your awareness, that is true you, because you don't have to worry about anything right now, right? And then slowly move your toes, bend your legs, right? Bring your feet closer to your hips, right? Hands on your heart, on your belly, just make yourself feel comfortable right here. Right, and then just lower your knee to the left, both knees, and right, then come back to the center. Lower both knee to the right. And 
bring your knees up, right? release your arms, and just roll yourself to the right side or left side, or using your arm as a pillow. Keep your knees bent. Continue relaxing your body, still your mind, and using your left hand, push yourself up to a seat. And bring your right leg in front of your left leg. And bring the hands in front of your heart. Inhale. Exhale. Namaste. Fall forward. <laughs> 